So over here you can see that I got some charts and what I can do over here in Google Data Studio is add in interactive filters according to how I like it so that uh, the viewers can choose what data they want to view. So to do that on the top you can see that control is an option and if you were to go around over here you can see that you can go around select date range and there's data control right here and different sort of things as you can see. But I'm going to go around right here and add in a drop down list right here uh, as an option. So I'm going to go around and here you can see right now console is selected. You can change the parameter over here as well. So let's say for example, I want the uh, to change this out as price right here. So let me just keep that as price and then you have the drop down control as price as you can see. You can resize this according to how you want and add in as many controls as you want. So I'm going to go around over here on to add a control and let's say what I want to do now is add in another drop down control right here. So for this one, uh, let me just go around over here and instead of price, I'm going to go around and select, let's say, for example, total right here. The, the console itself is fine right here. So let me just go around uh, right here. And there you go. There's the console, as you can see, just like this. And price is there. Similarly, I'm going to add in another control. And for this one, let me just go to slider right here. And then you can see that now there is a slider. And for this, I'm going to go and uh, select out totals. So total, drag it in over here. And then there you go. There's the total right here, as you can see. And then this is what you have. So if I were to go around right here and resize this, you can see that this is what you have. So now if I were to go to view, then this is what you have. As you can see, you have all the ranges. So now you can go around and let's say I just want to see uh, like these consoles. Then you can see that it get, gets filtered down. That is the whole page gets filtered down onto that particular uh um, a particular uh, uh, particular uh, data range right here. Similarly, you can go around choose price right here and you can go around right here. So let's say I'm going to go around and select out everything now. I can go around and choose a price range by using the slider over here as well. And then you can see that the, um, that the data is quite interactive. You can choose a range of data as you can see right here. So that is what you can do right here. And you can also search, let's say, for example, I'm going to go for, for all the reins right here. And especially when you have a lot of data and you want to select something with the letter P on it, you can see that you can also go around and select only so that you only see uh, data for that particular item. And that is how you can add in interactive filters inside of Google, uh, Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.